Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a web view to your Android project. So this will allow users to browse different websites from inside your app and they don't have to use a external browser app. Okay, so let's just jump straight into the build here. So I've just created a new project and the first thing that I'm going to do is come to our layout file. Um, we're just going to use the design view here and the first thing that I'm going to do is search for a web view object. So once we've found that we're just going to drag that onto our screen and we need to set the constraints because we're in a constraint layout. So I'm just going to make it the same size as the parent. So I'm just going to put a constraint of one around each side and then set the width and height to match the constraints. After that we need to set an ID for our web view, so I'm just going to call it web view. And then we can jump to our main activity. So inside here we need to create a web view object, so let's just make that private. And I'm just going to call this web view. And then we can come down to our onCreate and what we're going to do is find that by the ID. So we're going to say web view is equal to find view by ID. And as we set it in our layout file it's just web view. So then what we can do is set a web view client. So this will essentially tell our app to open up the browser inside the application and not jump to an external browser. So that be can be done by using the set web client and we're just going to create a new instance. After that we want to use the load URL method and for this case I'm just going to use Google as the base URL. So we're just going to type in google.com then after that we want to add a feature so that when we use the back button on our mobile device it brings us back in the browser rather than in the app. So to do that we're going to press Control O to create this pop-up here and we're looking for the on back pressed method. So let's just override this. To do this we need to check if our web view can actually go back. So we need to say if web view dot can go back and if that's true then we know that there is a web page in the browsing history that we can return to. So let's just say webview.goback. And if it can't go back then let's just call the superclass which will go back a page in our mobile app instead. The last thing that we need to do is ensure that our app has permissions to use the internet. So let's just jump to our manifest file and say uses permissions and it should be the first one here on the list. So it's permissions.internet. After that we can run our application and Google should show. Then I'll just show you that we can search a random page and that we can click into the search results here. And it should also work that when we use our back button in the app it brings us back in the browser. So that's basically all there is to it. If you have any questions or anything like that just leave them down in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.